bed winch. And he kept them and had sex with them when he when he wanted to. So y'all heard of a bed winch now? Y'all heard that? Now why did that happen to us? For our disobedience to God. Give me Joel 3. I'm going to show y'all something. Give me Joel 3. I think it's 3. Joel 3 and 3. So all this happened to us. Y'all ain't never seen the movies where the white man rape our sisters? Y'all ain't never seen the movies? You don't watch no stuff like that? Well, you need to know your history, sis, because that happened to us. You know, like what they would do. Like, how old are you right now, sis? You're 21. Okay, you would have been a bed witch. He would have, he would have, they would have bought you. They would have bought you and kept you, and they would just use you for the bed, to keep the bed warm. You know what I'm saying? Now, listen to this right here. Now, who did this to us, though? What people? The most in most recent time, the so-called white men, and God put it in the Bible to let us know why it happened to us. Okay, read Joel chapter three and verse three. Uh -huh. Bring up and they have cast lots for my people. They have cast lots for my people, meaning they sold us. Okay, I'm gonna sign that right here. Find me the sign where they sold us with the woman standing up at the auction. Right there. Okay. Now look, look at this right here. Look at this right here. See right here, they selling this brother right here. You know, see that? That happened. That happened to us. You know it didn't happen that long ago, right? Y'all go to church? Why church don't talk about this? It's in the Bible. So God said they cast lots for my people. Who cast lots? Who's selling this brother right here? These people right here. You see that? They selling him right there. And they did what? They have cast lots for my people uh -huh. and have given a boy for an harlot. They gave boys for an harlot, meaning, you know what they did? They breed, they breeded us. So what they would do, say like you live in Tupelo, okay, and another, another, uh, they got another farm in uh, Columbus. So what the white slave masters used to do was get together and breed you. They would breed you with another big strong buck male from another plantation and make some big, strong slaves. You see what I'm saying? He, he, so he, he did that to us. This is what these people did to us. Now, today, they don't talk about that no more, right? They say God love everybody, though. That's what they say. Read on. And have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine. They sold y'all for wine. What they would do, they would sell one of them. They would trade y'all around for wine. So this slave master over here, might say, look, I'll give you a case of wine for her, okay? And that's what they would do. And God allowed that to happen to us for our disobedience to God's laws, okay? Right. So what he wants you to do is come back to keep the laws because he'll he'll stop that kind of stuff from happening to us because today, they can shoot y'all right now. Won't nothing happen to you. Police pull up out here and shoot you, bam. You threw booking, nothing. So why all that stuff happened to us? Because we made a agree, we we made a this we made an agreement with God. Listen, to this. give me Deuteronomy 11, 20, 26. You can put it down. I'm just, I'm gonna hold it up for a minute. You see the change, all that stuff happened to us. We need to know our history. Y'all need to, they don't teach y'all this stuff in school because they don't want y'all to know. Yeah. They teach you George Washington. Y'all heard of George Washington, right? Yeah. Y'all heard of Martin Luther King. Yeah. But they only teach you. They don't teach you what they did. You know they killed Martin Luther King, right? Who y'all think killed Martin Luther King? A white guy? Exactly. They killed him. Who killed Malcolm X? The white people killed Malcolm X. They had, they, they had his people kill him. So they, they be wanting you to believe. They be like, oh, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King. But you should ask them, uh, ma'am, did y'all kill him? <laughs> Listen to this right here. Deuteronomy 11, 26. Listen to this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. I said before you this day, a blessing and a curse. Y'all sisters? Y'all sisters? Okay, all y'all sisters? No, they sisters. No, okay, okay, okay. I'll pray. Y'all from Tupelo? Where y'all from? Houston. Who? Houston. Houston? Oh, read it again. Behold, I said before you this day, a blessing and a curse. This was God was telling these people right here. I said before you this day, a blessing and a curse. What's a blessing? Something good you know they'd be like I, I show which god bless me so he said i'm gonna set before you this a a blessing and a curse what's a curse some bad right some bad listen what god say read a blessing if ye obey the commandments of the lord your god he said, you got it so what you got to do to get blessed you got to obey the commandments read which i command you this day in a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the lord your god 
Now, nah, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all keep the commandments? Y'all know any God commandment? Yeah. Like, what's one? That's a not steal. Okay, okay, kill. Y'all do that? Y'all y'all don't kill nobody, right? Okay. All uh, right, let me ask y'all this one. Give me in Leviticus 11 and 7. I'm finna read y'all a commandment. I'm gonna see if y'all doing it. Okay. So remember, now, why we went into slay? Why this stuff happened to us? Why, why y'all was bad witches and stuff? Because you were breaking God's laws. Right. So why that happened to us? Because we were breaking God's laws. So what we got to do now? We got to stop breaking God's laws. Okay? Listen to this. Let me see if y'all doing this commandment. Okay? Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Right. And the swine, though he divided the hook and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So what's a swine? And the swine. Y'all got a cell phone? You got a cell phone. Is it dead? <laughs> Google swine for me. Let them make sure you show them a picture. Swine. W, I mean, S W I N E. Swine. And Google pictures. Pictures. Images. Go to images. Swine. Read it again, so. Hold on. What did he say? What it is? So, what did God say? Read it again. The and swine in the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven fully, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Look, it say of your flesh should you not eat. So what's some examples of some swine flesh? Where are you going, sis? Going to get my phone. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you come back now. There's some good stuff I'm giving you here. So y'all eat the swine? What's up? Y'all eat no pig? Y'all eat bacon? What's up? Y'all eat bacon? No, she eat bacon. She ain't saying nothing. She might. I you eat bacon? <laughs> you barely eat? Y'all eat pepperoni? Okay, that's pork. Y'all know that's pork, right? Yeah, pepperoni. Yeah, so guess what? You don't supposed to eat that. Y'all know? Y'all don't supposed to eat that pork. Y'all don't supposed to eat that. Hey, sis, you eat pork? What's up? Pork? Yeah. You eat pepperoni? Yeah, I eat pepperoni. Well, okay, that's, that's that bacon. That's pork. So guess what? When you when you go against God, what you doing? You sinning. You can't you can't do that no more, right? Like y'all eat ham. See that? See y'all don't know. See the white man trick y'all. Ham is is pork. What? You can eat some chicken. Don't you eat chicken? Turkey. That's clean right there. But if you eat the pork, God don't like that. And you know what happened to our people? We get diabetes, sugar. Or, you know, black folks say sugar. <laughs> you get the sugar. From eating that pork. You ever heard of gout? Any of your kid folk got gout? Yeah, that comes from eating pork. So we gotta stop that, okay? That's an abomination to God. Okay. Now let me ask y'all something else. Uh give me uh Hebrews 13 and 4. What's up? Y'all got some boyfriend? Keep it real now. Keep it real. You're a single mother, okay. You're a single mother. Okay, y'all got y'all got boyfriends now though? Y'all got some friends? Let's see that. That's what I'm saying. So you got you ain't got a boyfriend, but you got somebody you be hollering at. Okay, now listen. I want y'all to hear what God got to say. Hold on, hold on. She, she finna go? Y'all finna go? They rushing us. They rushing y'all. Where y'all got to go? Okay, okay. Look, I want to read this to you before y'all leave now. Read this, read. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. God said marriage is honorable. So you don't both have no boyfriend. You're supposed to have a husband. Okay, read. In the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. See that God going to judge you if you don't get married. So guess what you need to do? You need to repent and get you a husband. And you remember they said your bed will be on the file. I don't know if you heard that. See, right now, if y'all laying down with me and your bed is the file. Okay? Give me second, give me first Thessalonians 4 and 3. God wants God don't want y'all to do that. Y'all understand? Y'all hear me? Y'all getting quite quiet. It's time to go now, huh? <laughs> it's time to go right now. She said she was a single mother, but you know what y'all gotta do? If y'all wait on marriage, guess what? You all will be single mother. Y'all understand? Now listen to this right here, read. First Thessalonians yeah, chapter good. four and verse three. Right For this is the will of God. Now this is the you know what God want? This is the will of God. Read. Even your sanctification uh -huh. that ye should obtain from fornication. Abstain from fornication. This is a commandment of God right here. 
Y'all say y'all do the command. Y'all don't, y'all don't steal. Y'all don't kill. But what about that? What about that right now? You get to that. So what you gotta do, sis? What you gotta do? What y'all gotta do? Give me, give me Acts three nineteen. You gotta repeat. You gotta stop doing. It. Guess what? You repent, start keeping the commandments. You come with us, we get you a hug. That's right. Y'all get y'all a hug, and then y'all be all right with God. Don't y'all want somebody to take care of y'all? Y'all need a hug, right? Be nice to have another huh? table to it. Don't y'all want a hug? No. Y'all don't want a hug? Why not, sis? It come with too much. I'm gonna show you what God say. Give me a uh, give me first Timothy chapter five. This is what God say, sis. God say sustain for but you wanna you wanna have sex though, right, sis? You wanna have sex, right? You don't want no hug, but you wanna have sex. Uh-huh. Well see, God gonna judge you. Y'all don't wanna get judged with by that now. Nah. Okay. Oh now she gotta go. Where you going for, sis? Where you going? You you got a boyfriend? See, God, you got to repent from that thing right there, see? Uh, five, uh, and I want, uh, verse 11. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 13. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry. See what God said? He want the younger woman to marry, read. Bear children. God the house. See what God wants you to do? He wants you to get married first. Bad children and God the house. That's what God says, sis. You know what's gonna happen if you don't? He gonna judge. You know how he judge y'all? You know how he judge y'all sisters? With the gonorrhea, with the clap, uh, with the uh, blue waffle, chlamydia. chlamydia, HIV, AIDS, all that stuff happened because our sisters wanna have sex outside of marriage. We gotta get married and keep the commandments of God. Give me Acts 3.19. Uh, our sisters need to repent from having sex before they get married. Okay. They say they love God, but guess what? You letting brothers blow your back out, sis. Don't huh. let those brothers just run up in you like that, sis. You, you got to uh, go back to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. Don't let brother just run up in you like that, sis. You're, you're a princess of the Most High God, but you got to repent. Sister want to run now when, you know, we get to talk about the rod. Right. Okay, read. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 3. For this is the will of God, huh? even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. See that? God say our sister need to abstain, abstain from fornication. Stop letting Negroes run and blow your back out, sis. <laughs>